In a town called Capernaum, Jesus, the promised Savior, was healing and teaching people about God. One day, Jesus is teaching a crowd of people in a house. There are many people sitting and standing around him to hear what he had to say. As I was saying, the house was quite small. As more people gathered, the house seemed to be getting smaller and smaller. As you can see, making room for everyone became difficult and the people were beginning to get squished as they were trying to find room to see and hear Jesus. Well, there were four men who had heard that Jesus was traveling through the nearby towns. These four men had a friend who was paralyzed. That means you can't use your arms or legs on your own. They thought, Jesus is healing people. Surely he can heal our friend. Hey, I wonder if we should take our dear paralyzed friend to see Jesus. Surely Jesus will know what needs to be done so our friend can walk again. So they went to the house where Jesus was teaching. When they got to the house, they saw that there was no room for them to bring their friend to see Jesus. The men thought for a moment and then came up with a plan. They took their friend and climbed up on the roof of the house. Once they were all on the roof, they started to dig a hole through the roof so they could lower their friend down to where Jesus was sitting. Keep digging, we're almost through. Can you see into the house? Not yet. Can you see Jesus? Oh, move. Finally, the hole in the roof was big enough and it was time to lower the man through the roof. Careful not to drop their friend, the men got him as close to Jesus as they could. As soon as Jesus saw the man who was paralyzed, he knew the man wanted to be healed. But Jesus also knew what the man needed. He saw the faith of the four men who had brought the man to him. Jesus knew what needed to be done. First, the man needed to be forgiven of his sins. Only God has the power to forgive sins. And since Jesus is God, that is just what he did. Jesus knew the man's heart needed to be healed and his sins needed to be forgiven. Then Jesus looked at the man who could not walk and said, I tell you, get up, take your mat and go home. The man heard Jesus' words and obeyed. He got up and took his mat. Everyone watched as he walked away. They were amazed and praised God. The people had never seen anything like it before. Only God can forgive sins and heal our hearts. Only God knows exactly what we need.